Hello, this is Morgan Beauchamp, and for my final genetics mini video, I will be discussing the case of the mysterious acorn thief. So, at the McNutty residence, there has been a disappe disappearance of a large supply of acorns. And when Nancy McNutty, one of the employees, reported it, she ended up getting blam blamed for the acorn's disappearance. But we're here today to prove her innocence. So how are we going to do that? Well, there was a sample of DNA left at the crime scene, and through DNA fingerprinting, we can establish a link between this evidence and the criminal. And we're going to do that by extracting the DNA from the sample and loading it into a gel for gel electrophoresis to identify where the VNTRs are, or the lo locations on the, uh, or the loci in which there are about 100 base pair repetitions with varying length for varying loci. So. We're going to take the DNA and load it into the top of the well, as shown in the gel. And for example, here we can see Nancy McNutty's uh, sample. She has five boxes, and let's say they're worth five base pairs, perhaps ATT. So for one copy of her allele, she has 20 copies of ATT, whereas on her bottom copy, she only has 15. And this is important because the positive charge is going to draw the negative DNA out into the gel where the shorter segments of DNA are going to move farther due to less force being required to move them. So the squirrels involved here are Nancy, Bucky, her neighbor, Freddie, her other neighbor, Eddie, his dad, and Billy. And one of these squirrels has been stealing some nuts. So let's look at the VNTR for Loc Locus 1. So we can see that sample 1 lines up with Eddie and Billy. So that means that in both copies of the allele for sample one and Eddie and Billy, that their allele lengths are the same. Now, this means that their DNA is consistent with the sample one uh, listed here, and that Nancy's, Bucky's, and Freddy's is not, meaning that these, that Nancy, Bucky, and Freddy are not uh, the suspects. Now, one final thing is we can see that Freddy and Eddie uh, share one allele due to Eddie being uh, Freddy's father. Now, moving on to the second locus, we can see yet again that Freddy and Eddie are sharing a locus due to their um, familial link and inheritance. And secondly, we can see that the sample is consistent with the DNA or the allele lengths of Nancy and Eddie, meaning that since Eddie also had DNA consistent with sample one from the first locus, then Eddie must be our suspect. So when asked about why he did it, Eddie said that he simply needed some acorns to feed his son. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching these videos and here are some references for you.